Right. Hi, my name is Roy McGuire. Um, I'm back here at my house in Braintree. Just finished my sophomore year down at Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm home for the summer and um, looking forward to spending some time back at home. Before I go abroad next fall, I'm going over to the University of St. Andrews to study in the fall. The opportunity to go to a different, um, different country, different culture, different kinds of people um, is great. That's kind of the reason why I want to go um, down to Tennessee for school or to, you know, away from home kind of in general. Um, it's just to kind of get a different experience. And then it was a really great experience um, at the State House. I worked for Rep Driscoll um, in his office and um, just seeing the day-to-day -day operations that you never really see when you're not there, the behind the scenes things, um, how much constituents can actually impact um, what a legislator does was really impressive to me. I didn't, didn't expect that really. Um, Relay for Life um, is an American Cancer Society fundraising and awareness event um, and I was involved for four years in Braintree with the Relay for Life in Braintree. Um, and this year the opportunity arose to be a part of the Relay um, down at school and that you know I went to the meetings and took the opportunity to get involved and all of a sudden um, you know leadership positions opened up so I ended up as co-chair of the event and it was actually an intercollegiate relay with um, Vanderbilt, Tennessee State University um, and Belmont University and um, it was the first time Nashville has ever had an intercollegiate relay between different colleges but everything went really well we, um, we hit our fundraising goal $25,000 raised um, Free time, well, like I said, golf's been a huge part of my life. Um, I've grown up at the Branch Golf Course, basically, and there's no better place for someone to grow up um, than on a golf course. Um, so that's a huge part of my life. And, yeah, so I'd say sports, politics, and then, you know, kind of on my own, the golf has been huge for my life. How did it change me? Volunteering in Katrina... Um, Seeing it firsthand was kind of a shock at first. Um, seeing how many places hadn't really changed yet since um, since Katrina in you know the 15 months or so since it actually happened. We were there this past December. Um, I think the biggest thing I took away was seeing the people. We got to, we did a Habitat for Humanity project and we got to see um, to meet with the people who were going to actually live in the house um, after we were gone um, after it was completed. And um, seeing their resolve and how thankful they were and how determined they were to rebuild, you know, whether the government was going to help them or not, they were going to get through it. Um, and that was really powerful, and it was great to see. Um, my parents and family have been a huge part of my success. Um, we're a very close family. Um, I have two older brothers, um, Matt and Colin, both um, you know, branch head grads like myself. But my parents, everything starts from them. Um, you know, the older you get, the more you realize what they did for you when you were younger. And always looking out for the best for myself as well as my brothers. Um, and just kind of observing um, the things that they do and the values they have has played a huge part, played a huge role in my life. Um, and if, you know, I wouldn't be where I am today without what they do, I wouldn't even be close. Um, thank you to my family and friends who have really helped me get where I am. I'm kind of a people person and I rely on the. Uh, support of other people and that's always been there. So I try to do that as much as I can, but I couldn't do enough as, as they've done for me.